Hallelujah. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are. As old as you are, you will never, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are. As old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Psalm 29 verse 2 says, Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. I want us to begin to ascribe to the Lord glory due to his name. God is great. God is faithful. He's been so good to us in Nigeria. Oh, this month is our month of independence that against all odds, the glory of the Lord overshadowed this nation. Let's ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Let's worship him in the splendor of his holiness. Let's appreciate him. Father, we worship you in the splendor of your holiness. Father, we ascribe all the glory due to you. Father, every glory, every honor, every majesty, every worship is due to you. Father, because you are faithful, you are good, you have been God. Oh Lord, no man can contend with you. Father, we worship you. Lord, we have come today. We exalt you our God. We worship you, O oh God Father. At your footstool we have come to say, Alu be thy name. Holy is he, Father, you are holy. Lord, you are holy. Lord, you are holy. We worship you. We bless you. We give you all the glory. We magnify you, Lord. Who is like unto you, Father. We say, Alu be thy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We need to celebrate God for our dear country, Nigeria. Thank God for tonight, a prayer night. But when we look back, God has been so faithful. In Psalm 31 verse 19, Psalm 31 verse 19 says, How great is your goodness. We have seen the goodness of the Lord in this nation. Which you have stored up for those who fear you. Which you bestowed in the sight of men on those who take refuge in you. Reading from NIV. We, are, we took refuge in the Lord and he has kept us in this nation. I want us to appreciate the Lord, to thank the Lord for what he had done for us. We celebrate his abundant goodness. I want us to celebrate the abundant goodness of the Lord over this nation. His abundant goodness. Lord, we celebrate your abundant goodness in Nigeria. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, Lord, we worship you. We give you all the glory. Father, we say, Allah be the name that is none like you. You have shown yourself. Oh, Lord, we give you thanks. How glorious is your name. Father, we thank you. 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 Lord, we worship you. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your kindness over this nation, Nigeria. Sixty years just like that. Against all odds, you still kept us as one. You have not given the devil opportunity to make this nation of God Father. 
Oh Lord, another nation. Oh, our nation is not taken away from us. You have been God that is standing in the front. We celebrate your abundant goodness in this nation. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. What you are enjoying in this nation, as Psalm 107 verse 1 says in, NL, in NIV. He said, give thanks to the Lord for his good, his love endures forever. His mercy is endure forever. Let's celebrate the mercy of the Lord over Nigeria. Oh, 60 years just like that, the mercy of the Lord kept us through. When it looks as if God is not there, we have seen him walking. Oh, the glory of the Lord overshadowed this nation. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. We give you all the glory. We magnify you. We declare today there is none like you. From the bottom of our heart, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. We say, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are going to appreciate God because we know tonight is going to answer our prayer. Psalm 66 verse 20 says, blessed be God who had not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. I want us to begin to thank God because we know he's going to answer our prayer tonight. It is remember me, O Lord, turning point time to pray. I want you to bless the name of the Lord and say, Father, thank you because I know you not turn away my prayer nor your mercy away from me tonight. As I've come to you, you will answer my prayer. O Lord, thank you. O Lord, we worship you. Father, thank you because you will answer our prayer. Thank you because you not turn us back in the place of prayer. You will remember us and do us good. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Right now, you are going to thank God for yourself. Psalm 66 verse 9 says, who keep our soul among the living? It is the Lord that kept your soul and my soul among the living and does not allow our feet to be moved. You are going to thank the Lord and say, Father, it is not by my strength that I'm alive. I want to thank you for counting me worthy to be among the living, for counting me worthy to be among the people that will pray, oh God, Father, tonight. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you because we know we will experience you, oh Lord, in a greater dimension. Lord, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Thank you for your help. Oh, thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. There is none like you. Oh, Lord, there is none like you. Oh, Lord, there is none like you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Who is like unto you, O oh Lord? Father, we acknowledge today and we say there is none like you. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Tonight, before we start, we are going to pray for our dear country, Nigeria. After praying for Nigeria, we are going to pray for ourselves uh, briefly, and we share the word, we share the communion, and we go. And surely the Lord will bless us in this nation in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to congratulate us as Nigerians that God brought us to that Independence Day. And here we are in this country. God has kept us. And God will continue to keep us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we are going to pray for Nigeria, and I believe God is going to answer our prayer. How many of us believe that God is going to answer our prayer? Hallelujah. Amen. He's surely going to answer our prayer. So we are here to pray for Nigeria, independence of Nigeria, and surely God himself will reign in this nation in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say God himself will reign in this nation in the name of Jesus. Amen. I know the Lord will reign and nothing the, de the, the devil will do about it. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 18 to 19, he said, the Lord shall reign forever and ever, either the devil like it or not. He said, for the horses of Pharaoh went with his chariot and his horsemen into the Red Sea, and the Lord brought back the waters of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on a dry land in the midst of the sea. This will be our testimony in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will reign in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We want to pray, and I know that God is going to answer our prayer. If you believe God is going to answer our prayer, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And it's going to reign in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to present Nigeria to the Lord. As you are, I just want you to, 
appreciate the Lord for this nation. I say, Father, we thank you for the nation called Nigeria. For every one of us, even praying right now, thank God for the nation called Nigeria. Father, we thank you for our nation, Nigeria. Thank you for what you are doing. Because you will reign forever and ever in Nigeria. You will continue to reign. You will prove yourself faithful. In this nation of ours, Nigeria, you will prove yourself faithful. You will honor your name in this nation. You will reign in this nation. In Jesus' name, we pray. Even as we, I want us to ask tonight for restoration, the return of the glory of Nigeria. I want us to ask God for his God of restoration. We are going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we ask for the restoration, the return of the glory of Nigeria. We receive it today in the name of Jesus. We receive the restoration of the glory of Nigeria now. We receive it, we receive it. We receive it, we receive it. Father, we ask that you release your divine purpose over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for release of the full potential of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for the full release of the potential of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We ask for the full release of protection of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father, let our country experience you. Let our country experience you in a greater dimension. In the name of Jesus, let our country experience you in a greater dimension. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, Father. we ask for the, for the deletion. We ask for the deletion of the reproach of our nation by the blood of Jesus. Father, delete the reproach of Nigeria. Father, delete the reproach of Nigeria. Cleanse Nigeria of every reproach that we have carried even till this 60th year of the existence of our independence. Father, delete the reproach of Nigeria. Delete the reproach of Nigeria. Delete the reproach of Nigeria. Father, delete our reproach. Lord, delete our reproach. Every reproach Nigeria is carrying by the blood of Jesus. Father, cleanse Nigeria of every reproach. Oh Lord, upon our land, cleanse Nigeria of every reproach upon our land, you are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, every blood sacrifice and transaction that was made to mortgage the destiny of Nigeria, we declare today, we declare today, oh, Father, let the sacrifice be dissolved by the blood of Jesus. Let it be dissolved. Every sacrifice, every blood sacrifice and transaction that was made to mortgage the destiny of Nigeria, oh, Lord, do during the independence, today we declare that the blood sacrifice be dissolved by the blood of Jesus. The blood sacrifice be, be, be disturbed by the blood of Jesus. Let it, O oh God, Father, be disturbed by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, every human agent, conspirator, collaborators from Nigeria, outside Nigeria, that is bent on destroying and delay the plan of God for Nigeria. Father, let every one of them, oh God, Father, be handled in your own way. Father, let them be handled in your own way. That Nigeria will come to her rest in the name of Jesus. Nigeria will come to her rest in the name of Jesus. Nigeria will come to her rest in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we arrest every dubious demonic agenda of the enemy to derail Nigeria. Wherever they are coming from, Father, every conspirators, oh Lord, to derail the destiny of Nigeria. Father, scatter them by your fire in the name of Jesus. Father, scatter them by your fire in the name of Jesus. Father, scatter them by your fire in the name of Jesus. Father, scatter them by your fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to tell the Lord, Father, we commit Nigeria into your hands. Reign in this nation. Reign in this nation. Reign in this nation. For you rule over the affairs of man. Father, reign in this nation. Lord, reign in this nation. Lord, reign in this nation. Lord, reign, Lord, reign. Father, reign in Nigeria. Lord, reign in Nigeria. Lord, reign in Nigeria. Lord, reign in Nigeria. Lord, reign in Nigeria. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we make our decree concerning Nigeria, we want to pray, God of possibility, arise. And this God, we arise for you tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for ourselves now. We pray, for, uh, we pray for ourselves, and I know that God of possibility will arise in Nigeria also in the name of Jesus. I want us to know there is a season in life of everyone where we'll be asking for, God's for God of possibility to arise. When we come 
in, in, when we are confronted by impossibility, all we need to do when we are standing right with the Lord is to ask the God of possibility to, to arise. It's a time to pray for uncommon manifestation of divine signs and wonders in the church of God. That we make men bow to the name of the Lord. And why should a child of God go through life without occurrence of miracle? Particularly with the team we have this month. The team already shows to us that we serve God of possibility. So we are called by his name, and we need to spend our life experiencing different types of miracles. The miracles of salvation, the miracle of, uh, uh, I mean, of revival, the miracle that is not common. And I know that God is going to do great in our life in the name of Jesus. I want us to know that God desires to overshadow us with, with supernatural blessings and miracles. But tonight, as we pray, because he requires us to pray, he will do it for us in the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 36, verse 37. Ezekiel 36, verse 37 says, Thus says the Lord, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel, and we want to inquire of him. So do it for them. As we ask him, he will do it for us in the name of Jesus. I will increase them with men like a flock. We will ask of him, he will do it for us, and he will increase us with men like flock in the name of Jesus. Amen. So when we ask God to arise, what happens is that impossibility begins to become possible. A miracle follows, unhindered. When you knock at heaven doors, I want us to know that God arises to honor us. And tonight he's going to honor you, he's going to honor me in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if you, want situation, if you want situation around your life to change, be ready to pray. We are going to pray passionately. Like our anchor scripture for this month in Matthew 19, 26 says, But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. That impossibility you brought here will become possible in the name of Jesus. He said, But with God, all things are possible. So God is set out today to bring someone out of the dungeon of impossibility into the realm of divine possibility in Jesus' name. Amen. So you are going to tell the Lord, say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. before I finish praying this prayer, before I finish praying this prayer, let your angels move into action on my behalf. Let them move into action on my behalf. Before I finish this praying, this prayer, let them move on my behalf. Remember me for good and let them move on my, on my behalf. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. He said, for with God nothing shall be impossible. Nothing include that your own very thing. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. You are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, Father in, the in the name of Jesus, let signs and wonder be our Lord. Lord. This month of October, in Redeemed Christian Church of God, Olive Tree Parish, I want us to talk to the Lord. Signs and wonders as people go for evangelism. Signs and wonders in all our services. Signs and wonders around us. Father, let it be our Lord. In, all the, in Olive Tree Parish, in the name of Jesus, let it be our Lord. Signs and wonders that manifest your glory, that we attract men into your kingdom. Father, release it unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every obstacle over and around us, give way to miracles, give way to signs, give way to wonders that we reveal our God as God of impossibilities for all eyes to see in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, every obstacle hovering around us, oh, let's sign, oh, Lord, Father, hovering around us to give way for signs, for miracles, for wonders, that we reveal you as God of possibilities in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, by your finger of possibilities, let every frustration in my life become a bridge to my miracle in the name of Jesus. Every frustration in my life, let it become a bridge to my miracle. I want you to open your mouth and pray. Every, every, oh God, Father, bridge to the miracles of your children. Oh Lord, every frustration anyone is going through, let it be a bridge, oh Lord, to the miracle that you have ordained for us. In Jesus' name we pray. One thing I want us to understand is that when God of possibility arrives, your disability does not matter to him. 
we are praying that God of possibility should arise. When he arises, your disability does not matter to him. In 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 3, 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 3, David asks, this is after David became the king in Israel. And he remembered the family of, the family of uh, Saul. He said, are any of Saul's family still alive? He asked. If there are, I want to be kind to them. And what happened? Ziba decided to look at the disability of that person to announce him so that he would be disqualified for that invitation. Ziba answer, one of Jonathan's sons, is still alive, but he can't walk. In another version, he say he's leprous. Amen? Amen? So when God decides to intervene, it has, it has nothing to do with your current personal situation. It has nothing to do with your disability. But everything to do with where God wants to take you. When God decides to arise to intervene to show his possibility, it has to do with everything he wants to do, not, not, nothing about you. You are not qualified, that does not mind God. You are too old, that is not the answer, that is not the question. You are not fair skinned, you are too dark, that is not what is needed. No matter what it is, it does not matter. You are going to tell the Lord. Thou God of possibility, in the name of Jesus, qualify me for uncommon miracles in this season of possibility. Oh Lord, uncommon miracle. I want you to talk to the Lord, uncommon miracle. In Israel, it is not possible for a leper to go before the king to dine, to even go into the palace. But you can imagine David calling this man despite his disability. Say, Father, uncommon thing, Father, do it in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You can imagine what happened when Ziba spoke. <laughs> he was talking of Mephibosheth. He disqualified him with his mouth. But you are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, Father. everything in my past and my, uh, and my current situation that is a minus, turn it to, a, to positive in the name of Jesus. That is what God did for Mephibosheth. Oh, the minus in his life, God turned it to positive through David. Say, Father, everything in my past and in my now, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that is representing minus. Father, turn it to positive in the name of Jesus. Turn it to positive in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to reject the tag of disabled in the name of Jesus. Whatever men have disabled in your life, whatever they are saying is disabled in your life, life. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever has been disabled in me, Father, make it able again. Every agent of darkness that always causes me to retrogress into disability, Father, disable them. Father, disable them. Father, disable them. Whatever caused me into retrogression and disability, Father, disable them in the name of Jesus. I want you to talk to the Lord. Every limitation that has followed me thus far in this year, Father, disable the limitation. You are God of possibility. You are limitless Father. Let the limitation in my own life be disabled in the name of Jesus. Let it be disabled in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When God of possibility arises, the second thing is that your current location will not be a factor. Whatever your location is will not be a factor. Second Samuel chapter 9 verse 4. The king said to him, where is he? He asked Ziba. He said, where is he? That is where is Mephibosheth. And Ziba said to the king, he is in the house of Machia, the son of Amir at Leodeba. He's telling him that he's in a far place. He cannot get here on time. <laughs> but do you know what happened afterwards? That did not stop what the king wanted to do. The king asked them to bring him. Amen? Amen. The king asked them to bring him. So where you are now, God will cause your helper to find you there in the name of Jesus. So when God of possibility arrives, it got nothing to do with where you are. Amen? Amen? No matter what it is, even if you feel unkempt, how unclean your location is does not matter to God. Stop focusing on your current location when you are talking of God of possibility. Focus on your future. Focus on God that, that can turn things around in a few seconds. And we are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, I decree concerning my life that my current location will not define me negatively in the name of Jesus 
by your finger of possibility. Oh Lord, my current location will not be able to define me negatively. In the name of Jesus, I decree concerning my current location by the finger of possibility of God. It will only define me positively. In the name of Jesus, you are going to tell the Lord, Father, by your finger of possibility, deliver me completely from the place of nothing, from the place of nothingness. In the name of Jesus, from the place of nothing and aimlessness, deliver me completely completely from the place of pain by your finger of possibility. Deliver me, deliver me. Deliver me, deliver me. Deliver me completely from the place of regret and stagnation in the name of Jesus. Deliver me completely from the place of confusion by your finger of possibility in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When God arises, God of possibility arises, what happens again? God can use any day to bring his possibility to come to pass in your life. He can use any day. In 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 1, I'm reading from Good News Bible. Good News Bible. One day, David asks, is there anyone left of Saul's family? If there is, I would like to show him kindness for Jonathan's sake that very day. That is to let you know that irrespective of how bad the day is, God can make it a brand new day for you at the end of that day. The day might not be good from the morning. Towards evening time, it can make it a brand new day for you by making something new to come into your life. So that means irrespective of how tough this season is, <laughs> God can give you a brand new season in this season, even though it's a tough season. That is why it's God of possibility. So despite how difficult this year has been, God can give you a new lease of life and testimony. And surely it will happen in your life in the name of Jesus. So you are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, if with your finger of possibility, despite how, this, how difficult this year has been, give me, oh God, Father, a new season in you. Give me a new lease of life that is filled with testimonies. I want you to talk to the Lord. A new lease of life filled with testimony in the name of Jesus. A new lease of life Filled with testimony in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, Father. by your finger of possibility, every day remaining in this year that has been assigned to me to cause me pain, turn it around to give me joy. Any day, oh God, Father, within the day remaining in this year that is assigned to cause me pain, turn it around to give me joy. 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 In the name of Jesus, every day that has been assigned to me to cause me pain, turn it around to give me joy. In the name of Jesus, every season of regret and pain that has followed me till now, I terminate you today. Tell the Lord, I terminate you today. I terminate you today. From now on, my days, oh God, Father, will not be filled with question marks. In the name of Jesus, it will not be filled with question mark. In the name of Jesus, it will not be filled with question mark. In the name of Jesus, it will not be filled with question mark. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right now we want to make this decree and the Lord will honor our voice as we make this decree in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to stand on Isaiah 35 verse 1 to 2 to make decree over Nigeria. And I want you to say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. We decree concerning Nigeria. That the wilderness and the wasteland. Shall be glad for us again. The desert shall rejoice. And blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly. And we will rejoice. And be filled with singing. The glory of Nigeria. Shall be given to it. The excellence of Carmel and Sharon. Shall see the glory of the Lord. Your glory will descend upon Nigeria. And we stand upon Acts 17.26. And we are going to declare. And we are going to say in the name of Jesus. We declare. That as you have made from one blood every nation of men 
to dwell on all the four surfaces of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings. We declare concerning Nigeria that you will show the manifestation of your greatness, of your riches. Even as a despised people, we declare the saturation of the glory of the Lord. Altars of bloodshed, we set you on fire. Dubious agents sent on destroying Nigeria, we dispatch you out of this nation. And we declare today concerning Nigeria that we step into new day, into new season, into the day of total restoration, total liberty, the day of total fullness. In the name of Jesus, we speak perfection into this land. Thank you, Jesus, for honoring our prayers. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for we know we experience your goodness. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you, Father, for helping us to obtain mercy. As we go in your name, Jehovah, go with us. And we thank you because you know you are God of possibility. Thank you for the team that you have given us in this house. And thank you, Father, because this team will answer for us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We want to share the word of God briefly, and surely God will answer us even as we pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. We all know that our team for this month says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. And our anchor scripture that we have read is Matthew 19, 26. Matthew 19, 26. He said, with men, it might look impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And this evening, we want to share briefly from the word of God as and we go into the communion. We want to talk about God of endless possibilities. God of endless possibilities. I want us to know that there is a supernatural uh, part of God that cannot be ignored. A part that no man can handle. Anything is possible with God. Our God dwells in the realm of possibility. And impossibility does not exist with God. Jeremiah 32 verse 17 and 27. Jeremiah 32, verse 17 and 26. I'm reading from NLT. He said, O sovereign Lord, you made the heavens and the earth by your strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. I am the Lord, the God of all people of the world. Is there anything too hard for me? The answer is obvious, obviously no. Our objective tonight is to understand the fact that with God, nothing shall be impossible. And also what it takes to experience the endless possibility side of God. And surely God will show himself to us strong tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now the key thought about possibilities with God. Anything is possible with God. We have said that. The only thing that is not possible with God is that he cannot lie. God cannot lie. Let all men be liars. God cannot lie. So possibility with God is normal. It is not a big deal to him. When we talk of possibility, it is just a natural thing to him. So if you are here today or you are listening to me right now, you are trusting God for one possibility or the other, I want to say you are welcome. Because this month you are going to experience his possibility in the name of Jesus. Amen. The team that does not come, God wants to bring some things to possibility in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. So we serve a God who is the God of all possibilities. There are five dimensions of this God, endless possibility. Five dimensions. Number one, God is a limitless God. He can't be limited by space. He can't be limited by time. He can't be limited in any matter. Nothing stands him and nothing stops him. Our God is limitless. He's a limitless God. Number two. Well, I'll be saying, looking at some English that you may not, uh, using some English that you may not find the meaning in dictionary. Number two, God is defeatless God. Amen? Amen. 
He's defeatless God. He cannot be defeated by any force on earth or in heaven or in the sky, anywhere. That's the dimension. That means when God decides to show forth himself and his possibility, nothing can defeat him. Even what seems impossible by man, he will defeat it and make it possible. Amen? Amen. Number three, dimension of God's endless possibility. God cannot fail. If he says, I'm going to do it, just go to sleep, he's going to do it. Amen? Amen. He cannot fail. The fifth, the fourth uh, dimension of his endless possibility, God is weariless. No power of the enemy can weary him out. That is why you see when the children of Israel were in Egypt and they are about to go out of Egypt, Pharaoh decided to want to weary all the acts that we are coming out. But he couldn't weary God. Even to the point of pursuing them to the bank of, uh, the, the, I mean, the Red Sea. He couldn't weary them. I want you to know that lawyers can get tired. Doctors can get tired. Pastors can get tired, but God never get tired. But there was not a time where anybody went to Jesus during his earthly ministry for anything, and he says, today, I'm tired. There was no one day recorded in the Bible. So we serve a willingless God. He's equal to every emergency when it comes to his possibility. Every emergency is equal to every tax. Hallelujah. He's equal to every tax. Number five. He's a confused God. God is not confused. Amen? Amen? Never in short of supply of wisdom. He never runs out of what to do. Concerning that situation of impossibility in your hands, I want you to know that God does not run out of what to do. He knows what to do. For the Bible says, he himself knows what to do. He's not wondering about what to do with your life or that situation in your hands. He's not a confused God. That is why he's the one of, uh, that is why he's God of, endless possibility. He cannot be limited. He cannot be defeated. He cannot fail. He cannot get tired. He cannot be confused. He's the God of endless possibility. This means with this dimension, there's nothing that he can't do. In Mark chapter in Mark chapter 14 verse 36, just the first part of it, he said, and he said, Abba Father, all things are possible for you. Abba Father, all things are possible for you. So God has no limitation. He has unlimited power and ability. Our God can do anything. Therefore, there's no person that can't be saved because he can do anything. Anybody can be saved. No matter how bad, impossible you see the life of somebody is. You see the person in your own heart. Men have written the person off. God can still save that person. That is where the impossibility of God come through. Anybody can be saved. I just also want you to know, our God of possibility can do anything. So there is no sickness that he can't heal. You are watching me right now and there is sickness in your body. I want you to know that the God of possibility we are talking about can heal any manner of sickness. But eventually you are knocked down by COVID-19 or any sickness around your liver, around your lungs, around your chest. Anything that the doctor had already confirmed that you carry. I want you to know that we serve God that can heal any sickness. That is the realm of his possibility. And it's of endless possibility. And he will do that in your life also in the name of Jesus. God can do anything. Therefore, I want you to know that there is no need that he can't meet. What is that need in your life right now? I want you to know that this month is your month. That that need, God can meet it. God can give somebody <laughs> anything you are thinking of within 24 hours. Because it's God that can bring nothing out of something. Our God can do anything. And that means there is no situation he cannot turn around. That means there's no place he cannot send revival, even into your own personal life. That means this month, you have been trying to be revived in the place of prayer, and you have not been able to. It seems an uphill tax to you. I want you to know that this month, God is set to bring you to possibility in your life. And that means this month, we will experience possibility in God in several ways, with God in several ways in the name of Jesus. I want us to know that the, the possibility of salvation and continuous relationship with God is possible. We are talking of God that the possibility of prevailing power over all your adversary is possible. The possibility of healing, deliverance, sign and wonder. The possibility of recovery of everything that is lost is possible. The possibility of answer prayer, you can experience it tonight. The possibility of destroying the power of delay. 
and the possibility of, of encountering the grace of exemption in type of recession like this can be given you. And surely to be given you in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you listen to me, I declare into your life that today, God of possibility will manifest and give you the taste of his possibility in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, what are the keys to activate the possibility of God? What are the key? Number one, the pursuit of God. The pursuit of God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, the pursuit of God. The pursuit of God. The pursuit of God comes forth for you if you want to witness his possibility. You must be one who pursue after God. You are in a way that you are having authentic relationship with God. Anybody who put God first can easily access the possibility of God. And when we look at uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. The meaning of that is when you seek his kingdom first and his righteousness, anything you see possible with anybody is indeed possible to you too because you seek his kingdom. So the possibility of God does not belong to those who play church or religion. The possibility of God does not belong to those who take God for granted. The possibility of God does not belong to those who play God on other people's life. The truth is when man is real with God, that, that is when the reality of God can be, can be revealed to you. When you confirm that you are real with God, you will see the realities of God. You cannot be pursuing God and be pursuing the devil at the same time. And you cannot be pursuing the world and be pursuing God at the same time. You are at the point where people know, uh, know that your focus in life is that you are pursuing God in life. Everyone around you know that your focus is that you are pursuing God in life. You know that your number one object of pursuit is God. Then be set to, to, to experience his possibility. So number one key is for you to pursue God. Pursue him in the place of prayer. Pursue him in the place of evangelism. Pursue him in the place of the word. Pursue him in all round in your character. Pursue him in the nature. Pursue him in everything. Don't play religion, but play it rightly. Pursue to know the Lord. Let kingdom advancement be your goal getting as you are doing whatever you are doing in the kingdom of the Lord. Number two key to his possibility, faith in God. Faith in God. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. Amen? Amen. Without faith, that is Hebrews 11, 6. Without faith, it is impossible to move God to walk. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him. When he rewards you, as you diligently seek him, he rewards you with his possibilities. Amen? Amen? You have to believe in the reality of God to see the possibility of God. You must believe that you are not wasting your time serving God. You are not wasting your time doing the will of God. You are not wasting your, your time wanting to live righteous, wanting to live holy. You are not wasting your time or oh, wanting to stand truthfully before the Lord. You must believe that your coming to church is not just to mark register, but you are coming to meet with God of possibility. That is why we must always prepare to meet with our God. When we are connected in service like this, every one of us, wherever we are, we are connected in service. Let us have it in mind that we, we are meeting with our God. You are not just watching me on the screen, but we are meeting in connectivity of heart with our God. You must believe that God is real to his name. Because there are two dimensions of faith. The first dimension of faith is that the possibility mindset. You have possibility mindset. Where in your mind you believe anything is possible. You believe that you know, when we say anything is possible somebody went to camp as a short man. And that the Joe was saying that you asked what to He said, God, and God did it, and he saw that his trousers went up. And everybody was looking at him. That is what God can do. That is the dimension of the heart that believes that with God, everything is possible. The second dimension is the possibility of lifestyle, where you talk possibility. You think possibility. You live possibility. You act possibility. When these two are combined, you are set fully to see God of endless possibility. And you see him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, believe in the promises of God. To see the possibility of God, believe in the promises of God. Believe in his promises. Literally, believe in the word of God. Believe that what God said is what he wills. Without it, without it, it is impossible to please God. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by 
the word of God. So if the word of God said, he took my sickness by his stripe, all that is expected of me is to believe it. So if the word says, if two of us shall agree concerning a thing, all I need to do is to believe it and expect what I believe in agreement that it will activate possibility. Number four, believe in the acts of God. When somebody comes out to give testimony or somebody just say, God did this for me, believe it and accept it. Don't judge the testimony. Usually testimony reproduces itself. So when people come out to give testimony, anytime somebody gives testimony, God is pointing us to what he's willing to do. He's pointing us to what he's ready to do. And he's pointing us to what he's capable of doing. Again, in our lives. That is why we must not joke with testimony. When it comes to testimony, God wants us to know what he can do. And that is why Revelation chapter 12, verse 11 says, Oh, as we are coined by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Amen? Amen. So testimony carries power to overcome. To overcome the current situation of your life. And even for anyone that will manifest in any shape or form. I just want us to know that testimony usually carries the capacity to strengthen us to overcome. So when you don't give testimony, you are sitting on somebody's miracle. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Because that, your testimony will bat a miracle in another person's life. Amen? Amen. Testimony has the capacity to reproduce itself. It will reproduce in your brother's life or your sister's life. So the time of testimony, therefore, is a time to hear what God wants to do in our life. Or what God did in somebody's life so that we can be expectant of what he will do in our life. For the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, he said, Jesus Christ, he said, yesterday, today, and forever. You know what he will do tomorrow because you had what he did yesterday. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to lift up your hands where you are and say after me, say, Father, Father. I come before you today to experience your possibilities in my life. Give me a taste of divine possibility. Talk to the Lord. A, 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 a taste of divine possibility. In the name of Jesus. A taste of divine possibility. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to tell the Lord, say, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By your finger of possibility. Overturn every impossibility that have hit at us stay too long in my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Please, wherever you are, can you take a sheet of paper? Or if you have your, your, your phone with your iPad, you are going to write something on it. And what are you going to write? Take a sheet of paper and write down one, and write down one to three things that you want the law, the God of endless possibility to tackle for you today. What do you want him to tackle for you? I want you to write it down, wherever you are. And as you write it down, we are going to pray on it and the Lord will tackle it. If it is diabetes, say, Lord, tackle this diabetes. If it is this, mention their name and say, oh, Lord, tackle it. Write it out, write it out, whatever you want him to tackle for you. If you have done it, I want you to lift it up to the Lord. I want you to lift it up to the Lord what you want him to tackle for you, I want you to begin to talk to the Lord and say, Father, I present this to you today. Thou God of possibility, endless possibility, tackle this for me today. Begin to talk to the Lord. Tackle this for me today. Tackle this for me today. Begin to mention it to the Lord. Leave the list up between now and the end of the year. Father, you are God of all possibility.
In the name of Jesus. Father, everything we are lifting up to you, tackle it for us, tackle it for us. Tackle it for us, tackle it for us. In the name of Jesus, tackle it for us. Oh Lord, tackle it for us. Let us experience your possibility over these things we have written to you as our God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Please lift them up as I pray on it. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is the list of what you want you to make possible in our life. Between now and the end of this year, Father, you are God of all possibility. Whatever is presented to you right now, I decree that they turn into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. The God that made the blind to see and the lame to walk and the deaf to hear and to seek to be healed, that same God will grant the answers to your, in your hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. Concerning that eviction notice that you have written with your hand, I declare right now, that God of endless possibility will give you an intervention in the name of Jesus. Amen. Concerning that head challenges, oh, that you have written with your hand, the possibility of God as a healer will manifest for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will receive your testimony. You will receive your testimony. Amen. Something belonging to you that the devil has held is being returned back to you in the name of Jesus. Your expectation is released. The cloud of darkness over Nigeria is overshadowed. It's rolled away in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is rolled away in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we present it to you and we say, Father, breathe on it and convert it to testimony for us. And I decree to your life, paraventure, you have not experienced the possibility of God today. Via what you have written today before the end of the year, you will give testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will give testimonies in the name of Jesus. You will give testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will give testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Holy Ghost, thank you. Please wave those requests to the Lord. I left it and he said, wave it. Father, we wave this request to you. We say, hallowed be thy name. Father, we praise you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. For all this already is a testimony. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are before our God, and I know that God is said to do something in somebody's life. And I know that what he's said to do is to bring you to that possibility of being his child. You are listening to me. You have not given your life to Christ. You want to partake of the communion now. One major possibility that you need is the possibility of becoming a child of God. God has made it possible for everyone that crowned him to become his child. If you are not a pursuer of God, it means God is not your number one focus right now. And that means you don't know God. You are saying my own, uh, uh, you are saying my own number one thing today is for me to know him and live for him. If I'm talking to you, I want you to just uh, pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today just as I am. I declare to you that I'm far away from you. But I confess with my mouth that you died and resurrected on the third day. Therefore, Jesus, save me. Deliver me from my sins. Forgive me my sins. And write my name in the beloved. From this day forward, I follow you forever. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want you to just sing this prayer with me if you can sing it. Lord, I give you my life. I give you my soul, I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, have your way in me. As you have given him your life, every moment you are awake, he will have your way in your life. His grace will preserve you, and so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Right now, we are going into communion. And our communion focus tonight is possibility through his blood. Possibility through his blood. Possibility through his blood. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14 says, I'm reading from NIV. He said, how much more then will the blood of Christ 
who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our conscience from acts that lead to death so that we may serve the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to know that as we partake of this communion table, this is the month of possibility through the blood of Jesus. It is a day of possibility. I just want us to know that the first sacrifice to establish possibility in the name of the Lord Jesus is the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus. Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 says, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it away, nailing it to the cross. First possibility. What Jesus did was, was seemingly impossible after Adam and Eve fell. But the first possibility that came is that Jesus came into the world for you and I. And I want you to know that he's doing something great in your life and my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And what are these possibilities through the blood of Jesus, which as we partake the communion today to happen in our life? Number one, total cleansing from sin and dead works. As we partake of the communion today, there will be cleansing of sins and dead work so that the impossibility in our life as sin that have not left us to begin to give way in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the blood of Jesus has the capacity to completely cleanse us from all our sins, tonight we'll be cleansed in the name of Jesus. Amen. If we can come to him with a heart of forgiveness, that as we partake of this communion today, we come with a heart of forgiveness, a heart of, uh, a, heart of uh, a contrite spirit, and to ask for forgiveness, God will surely prove himself. And also, I want us to know that the possibility through the blood of Jesus is total mercy through the blood. He said, and to the sprinkled blood that speak better words than the blood of Abel, Hebrews 12, 24. So while the blood of Abel asks for vengeance, the blood of Jesus seeks for mercy. So as we partake of this communion table today, his blood will speak mercy for you and I in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will show you mercy instead of judgment in the name of Jesus. Amen. And also, what happened, what possibility can come through the blood of Jesus? The possibility of gaining access into his presence. Total access to God's presence. At his crucifixion, the Bible says in Matthew 27, I think 50 to 51 or 52, it talks about the cutting of the temple that was torn apart. So through the blood of Jesus, we have access into the Holy of Holies. So after the resurrection, he had entered the, the most holy place on our behalf, and we can enter it through his own blood now. That is what qualifies every one of us who believe in him and we, access, and we have access to the most high God. Amen. So by his blood, we have access to the most high God. And we are going to enter confidently to obtain help from all, for all our needs in the name of Jesus. Amen. So as we partake of the communion table today, every available thing that the blood of Jesus can do, we answer for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. The possibility of his blood is that it gives us total victory over the devil. Tonight you have total victory. Because the blood of Jesus is one of the potential spiritual weapons against the devil. Through it, we overcome the devil. And you will overcome and you will overcome in the name of Jesus. Amen. Possibility of his blood, total reconciliation back to God. Through sin, we are all uh, uh, separated from God. But by his blood, we are brought near to him. You are being brought near to your maker in the name of Jesus. Amen. That is why we are not to be far from him. We are brought nearer to him as we become co heir with Jesus. Aren't you glad that you are co heir with Jesus? And also, one of his possibility, total protection and preservation from evil and disaster. As we partake of this communion today, we will receive the mark of the blood to protect us from disaster, to protect us from evil in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just as it happened in Exodus chapter 12, verse 13 to 14, that the blood of the lamb that was killed at a crossover night, at, uh, at, at, at the Passover night, was put upon their seal for their protection. This blood tonight will stand as a covenant blood for you and I in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we partake of this communion today, the Lord will prove himself in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to bow your heads and firstly thank the Lord for provision of his blood, for our total cleansing, for the cleansing of our sin, for victory over demons, for reconciliation to God, total protection and preservation, complete mercy, access to the place of mercy. I want you to appreciate the Lord. Father, have mercy on me, O Lord, and cleanse us, O God, Father, by your blood. Cleanse every one of us by your blood that will not eat to damnation tonight in the name of Jesus. Forgive us our sin and give us access to your holy place as we partake of this communion. Father, we pray that every sins we are committed, oh, that is still speaking against us, Father, have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. As we partake of this communion today, our life is immune against what we hate in the name of Jesus, against, O oh Lord, 
Our, our, life, our, our life is immune. Our career and household is immune from calamity at any time by the precious blood of Jesus. Like in the name of Jesus, I decree by the blood of Jesus, myself and my household will overcome you, the devil, and all your demons in the name of Jesus. I want you to tell the Lord, Father, from today, I've been reconciled to you by the blood. Oh, Lord, let me draw nearer to you. As I partake of the communion today, Father, reenact, oh God, Father, reenact my closeness back to you, the reconciliation between you and I, in the name of Jesus, you are going to tell the Lord, all that was written by the devil against my life will not come to pass, in the name of Jesus, will not come to pass, in the mighty name of Jesus, will not come to pass, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, as we partake of this communion today, we decree your blessing upon it. Let it nourish our body and let it be a mark upon our forehead to deliver us from whatever it is that you have not ordained. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb, of the Lamb. There is power, 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 wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Father, we consecrate every table before you right now. Breathe upon it and let your power surge into it. Breathe upon this blood and let it be a mark upon our forehead. That we walk before the wicked and it shall by no means hurt us. Oh, that you will terrorize the wicked around our lives. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord in the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. He said, take it, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's eat the bread. In the same manner, I also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he come. Can we drink the wine? I want you to talk to the Lord. Just talk to him. Father, by the reason of this table, place your mark of exemption upon my forehead. By faith, O oh God, I partook of this table representing the flesh and the blood of Jesus. O oh Lord, I declare that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let your mark rest on me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. As we have partake of this communion tonight, the night of remembrance of the Lord, remember me, O Lord. I declare that whatever the devil has planted in your life is uprooted in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the power in the blood, it is flushed out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even as we have come tonight to talk of the possibility of God and we have prayed for our nation, for ourselves, I decree every sorrow around your life and family is arrested in the name of Jesus. Any devil that says you will not rejoice, that sorrow is returned back to sender in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything that has put your life under pressure is cursed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything that put your life under pressure is cursed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight, your pillow shall be like Bethel, where inspiration of light and insight will flow into you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy confusion. In the camps of the enemy, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anywhere the enemy has ganged up against your life. Tonight, confusion is released in their camp, in the name of Jesus. Amen. No weapon of the wicked will work against you. You that saw the month of October, we see November, December, and 2021, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing about you will be cut short. Amen. I speak into your life right now that may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Amen. Cause his face to shine upon you. Oh, lift up his countenance towards you as favor. 
and be gracious unto you. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we share the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. God bless you all.